What's up, YouTube? Deacon the you back another video, and today I'm gonna be making a really good, a really good video. We go straight to the point. No talking, no nothing. Go straight to the point. This video you can see what I told on thumbnail is about the Warriors, basically. So I'm making a video about like kind of like not really the preseason because the preseason is not important at all whatsoever. It's the preseason, not important. I'm basically making a video on basically why the Warriors are top contenders for the for the championships. I'm telling you honestly the truth. I don't care what anybody says. I believe the Warriors are top contenders for the NBA championships. I'm gonna tell you why. I think the rate the Warriors have fallen off a lot of people's radar due to basically their last season due to how all the star players got injured. Basically, Curry was injured, Clay was injured, and freaking uh that's basically the two top two really big star players because KD got traded last. I think he got traded two seasons ago, last season ago. But due to the re injury, he's finally not injured anymore, which is good. Cause I'm a fan of KD. I kind of don't like how he's not in the Warriors anymore. But it is what it is. It's how NBA runs. How NBA goes. People stay and people go. That's how it is. But but basically, yeah, basically, yeah. And all of those are the star players, so they have to have this is really legit. Basically, 2019 Warriors were eventually were basically bench bench war bench one players. Like honestly, they're all bench players. Honestly, let's be honest. No disrespect to all the players, but they're all bench players. They always stay on the bench all the time. Majority of the time, they're on the bench while the while the star players are usually playing on the court. So what do you expect with all the t the, the big not even the best players in the freaking NBA? Let's be honest, because Warriors were con were contending team. They were in the NBA finals. Surely they didn't win it, but they were still in the NBA finals last season. I'm, I'm talking about 2019, the 2020 season, because it's currently the 2021 season. I'm talking about 2020 season and 2019 season. Last season, 2019, they were contending with Warriors, so they are still a top contending team. I don't get how they dropped down due to one season they didn't make it at all because their star players were injured. Clay was injured and Curry was injured. Oh my gosh, they're not contending teams anymore. I don't get it. I don't. I, I just don't get it. To me, this doesn't make sense. How they drop from? I understand. Yeah, they have. They were the worst team. I think they were the top two or top three worst teams in twenty in the twenty in the twenty twenty yeah, in the twenty twenty season. I know they were probably the worst teams. Honestly, I can agree with that. They were terrible with the without the star players. But I don't get how people talk about how they're just trash or never be good again. The dynasty. Oh my gosh. That makes me so mad when I be here. The dynasty is over. The Warriors dynasty is over. They're never gonna win a championship again. Without KD, they're never gonna win a championship. Like, come on, man. You sound dumb. They're going to win a championship. I'm giving you. They're winning it 2021. They don't make it. At least they don't make it. They're gonna make it deep into the playoffs or finals. They're making it really. It, the small chance the Warriors aren't gonna make it. They don't. The small chance the Warriors don't make it to the NBA finals. They're going to make it to the Western Conference. The conference finals. Or deep into the playoffs, I'm telling you, those top things I'm saying, they're going to make it to the finals. If they don't make it to the finals, they're gonna make it to at least to the conference finals. If they somehow miraculously don't make it to the conference finals, they're going to at least make a deep run in the playoffs. All right, I'm telling you, they're going to do fine. The Warriors will be just fine. And also another thing about it is because another thing now I'm hearing is it's, just, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Now I'm hearing a lot of things about it when it comes to like Curry. One thing I have to say about Curry. Is he's one of the best point guards of all time? I think he's one of the honestly, my opinion might, might be a far opinion to a lot of people, but I think he's in the greatest of all times. He's not on that top five list. I know a lot of people might be really mad at me saying that. I might want to dislike the video, might want to like spam in the comment section how they hate me, how my opinion is stupid. But I think Curry's in the list of the top five greatest of all time. He's just that good. I'm be honest. No, no following, no one, no bandwagon, no nothing like that. I genuinely think he's. One of the goats, and the fact that even I'm not only the person. A lot of people did think that because of one season he was injured. Everybody's like, "Oh my gosh, Curry's trash now. Curry will never be this." I'm like, "What? How does one season define all your greatness? You could achieve all your career? I don't get it. it. Doesn't make sense to me how you can be gone for one season due to injury, something you can't control, and you be gone for one season. And some people can make the point, like, "Oh, in primes of a lot of people who are considered the goats, Jordan was never injured in his prime. Kobe was never injured in his prime. Like nothing, nothing major make them lose a season or anything. Like all these people who are considered goats. LeBron wasn't injured in his prime. Oh, uh, you can just name a bunch of people who are considered goats." Like Magic, Kareem, uh, Wilt, Bill Russell, like a bunch of people who are like in their like in their prime. That's in your prime. You become you become the best, basically. We're injured, and Curry was that can probably debunk it from it. And also, Curry doesn't have a Finals MVP. This stuff and stuff they make excuses why Curry cannot be one of the greatest of all time. I'm not a bandwagon, not something like that. I generally think he is one of the greatest of all time, with or without no Finals MVP. He's just that good. Curry himself, talk about not the worst. Just Curry himself is that good. Okay, let's just. And also, last thing about Curry before I, um before we go back to Warriors. What happened with I'm hearing this thing because Curry was gone for one season due to injury. I'm starting to hear this stupid thing pop up over and over again around the internet saying Dame is better than Curry. Damian Lillard, Dame, is better than Curry. 
the people I've been hearing people saying Dame is the number one point guard in the NBA. Damian Lillard. Wait, hold up. Dame. No offense, but Dame, he's one of my favorite players as well, like in the league. Not like goats or anything, like nothing. He's not even close, but he's one of my favorite players. Don't get me wrong. He's one of the most enjoyable players, one of the top five or top ten best players currently in the league right now. But sorry, don't you ever ever in your life compare someone like Damian Lillard to Stephen Curry. Dame will be in the bottom when it comes to resume and just skills in general, while Curry will be in the top. Because Dame has nothing to Curry. I'm telling you, the fact that people honestly think Dame is the number one point guard in the NBA. Dame is the best point guard in the NBA. Better than Curry. Honestly, makes me want to laugh so loud. Like, what? Are y'all delusional or that dumb? How does one season ruin a whole man's credibility? How does one season ruin a whole man's career? Like, it's funny how this did happen to LeBron in 2011 when he got destroyed by the Mavs. No one thought less of LeBron. But I don't think so that much people because we have a lot of people who just still support and be like, Bron's the best, this is. But a lot of people love to forget about 2011, how trash, how abomination LeBron was in 2011 in the finals. But when it comes to Curry, one missed season, oh my gosh, he's so trash, he's so terrible. Oh my, like, come on, have the same energy when it comes to other people you guys like. Come on, it can be hate to one person and one team, but not hate to other people when they have their missed falls, their, their downfalls. It just doesn't really make sense that much to me, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm just thinking, I honestly genuinely think, especially, I should have mentioned this more, but the preseason, how they were good, in the, like, the preseason obviously doesn't matter. It's the preseason, it doesn't really matter. It's the preseason, don't get me wrong. But the cohesive unit, how they were against the Nuggets, who are the top three best team, in my opinion, in the Western Conference right now. In the Western, it's the West Conference currently best, top three best team. Even though Warriors is like my favorite team, you can, if you can probably tell by this video, how I'm sounding, I can't be biased. I'm not going to be stupid. They've dropped down, obviously, due to their terrible season. and But due to all the trade, the amazing trade deals they've had, how all their stars are building up. Don't worry, Clay will come back soon. I'm telling you, Sal, he got an injury during practice during this offseason, but he will come back soon, I'm telling you. But Curry's been great. A lot of the amazing trades they have with Kelly Oubre and a lot of people who are just building up. We have a uh, draft pick, James Wiseman. There's a lot of things which are just going up. Nick, who's this? This came Nick. Nick Mannon, I think his name is Nick Mannon. He's another draft pick. The Warriors took in the draft. I think it's Nick Mannon. I don't really know how to pronounce his last name that well, but this was Nick something. There's a lot of the teams just building up, getting better and better. Uh, another person who was really good in the play in the preseason game with the Nuggets was Andrew Wiggins. Amazing. That guy was crazy. I tell you, the guy was all fire and all cylinders. I'm saying, that guy was crazy, man. I'm telling you. But the team is built now. And how they were working together so co cohesively, so nice, so gelling together, even though you can, this is the first time they've ever played in an actual basketball. Now, I've seen practice, obviously, there's some scrimmage and something like that. I'm talking about actual basketball game in the NBA. They've all played, and they all gel so well perfectly. They are top contenders to me, honestly. Like, if you go about top contenders, number one, honestly, has to be, obviously, the Lakers when it comes to, I'm talking about the Western Conference. I'm not talking about the whole NBA. That's too much teams, bro. The Western Conference, when it comes to top contenders, number one's the Lakers, number two, is the number two will be the Nuggets. Actually, number three would be the Warriors. Number four would be the Clippers. Because the Clippers are terrible. I'm going to make a whole nother video on that situation. The Clippers are just terrible, man. Let's be honest. The Clippers are not winning a championship. I thought them having Pandemic P, a.k.a. Playoff P, a.k.a. Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard would make them better. But come on, now. They have not improved at all, bro. I'm telling you. The playoff, I, I, they, they, threw a, they, they blew a 3-1 lead. I know you guys will be like, oh, the Warriors did the same thing in the finals. But I'm not going to go there judging the the Clippers that much because if they if they blow through one lead anytime sooner and just lose that bad in the playoffs or in, in any conference finals or any finals like anything related to like multiple rounds or multiple games like that in the, in the finals conference finals or playoffs and they lose that badly again I have no faith 2021 will be has to be a recovery is going to be a recovery season for the Clippers if they do just as bad as they did in the play if they even make it to the playoffs first of all let's say they even make it to the playoffs and they do just as bad as they were this uh, last season game over no one has faith in the Clippers. As a matter of fact, no one really does have faith in them, but we have a tiny little bit of faith in them, all right? I'm going to give them a little bit of hope, all right? That's it. But besides that, I think the Warriors are a top contending team. They're amazing. They're just gelling so well. It's obviously, the preseason, we're just seeing the, the I'm telling the regular season, going to dominate. I'm assuming Curry will win a, a, a MVP. I'm assuming Curry will win the championship and will finally win a finals MVP. I know I'm not trying to be like a bandwagon or anything, but I believe Curry has improved a lot in his skills and everything like that. We'll see him mainly show his talents, obviously, in the regular season. But yeah, I'm done talking. 
not also that Kelly Oubre, Kelly Oubre has amazing, great in the play in the preseason so far. Just everybody in the Warriors so far just doing great. One person I want to see finally play in, this, in the Warriors for us is Draymond and Wiseman. We haven't seen them play a lot. Wiseman, we haven't seen him play at all. Draymond, I don't think he played at all. I believe he didn't play at all at all on the, the game they had with with the Nuggets. Yeah, I didn't see him too. But anyway, that's all I have to say for right now. The reasons why I think Warriors are a top contending, top contending team. This, top contending team this video was supposed to be like five minutes but it's actually 10 minutes and wow i'm seeing look at the audio for all i'm recording right now anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video get a put those up comment share always always subscribe yeah goodbye